Hello, my name is Darren Thomas. I'm the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we're going to take a look at the aggregate function, which is a very useful tool for summarizing data across multiple columns or variables, if you will. So as you can see, I'm already inside our studio, and the data set that we're going to use is the MT Cars data set. So we're going to take a quick look at this as an overview. So I'm going to type in MT Cars, press enter. And you can see here that I get this really long data set and you know you can't really see everything. But off to the left hand side we have the type of car. Then we have several variables, miles per gallon, MPG, cylinders, SCYL, displacement, one six, or displacement, DISP, horsepower or HP, DRAT, uh, whichever that stands for, weight, WT, QSEC, uh, which is how fast you can go in a quarter mile, if you will, and then there's some several of, of other variables, VS, AM, gear, carb, etc. So these are the variables available inside this um, particular table, this data frame. Now, there are several things I could do. I could find, for example, the mean for, let's see here, empty cars slash MPG. I could do that, and it'll give me an answer. This is something you've seen before. So the average mile per gallon for all cars is 20.09 in this data frame. But what if I want to know the average number, the average MPG, for example, by the number of cylinders that a car has, or perhaps maybe by the number of carburetors? Or what if I want to know like the number of uh, the, the average number of horsepower, if you will, by cylinder or car? To calculate this kind of information, you need to have you need to use something called the aggregate function, which is the focus of this video. And what the aggregate function does is that it takes whatever formula you put into it and it's able to calculate, okay, the number, the average number of, you know, blank based on blank, blank, blank. And this will make more sense as we go through an example. So let's go through an example first. So I'm going to type in aggregate. And so here's how you do it. Now I want to know the average number of horsepower based on cylinder. Um, Again, if you want to know the details about the MT car data set, um, you can type in, let me just do that for you real quick. You can type in question mark, MT cars, then off to the side, this will appear. I already pulled it up in this particular video. And so it tells you the name of the different, uh, the different variables and what they stand for. So right now I'm dealing with HP. Now I'm sorry I can't make this bigger over here off to the right, but this is what's happening here. Now let me go back to what I was doing. So aggregate, I want to see what is the average miles per, or no, the average amount of horsepower based on cylinder. So to do that, you, there's something you must remember. You must first type in the continuous variable. So in this particular situation, I'm doing HP or horsepower. After that, you need to press a, the tilde sign. Now the tilde button is that number to the left of the number one, uh, if you're using the standard English QWERTY keyboard, you need to press down shift and then you press that button right there and you get this little squiggly line. So that's how you do that. And now to the right of the tilde, you put the categorical variable. Now in this situation, our categorical variable is cylinders. Uh, you don't have to transform it into a factored variable for those of us who are more familiar with R, but you wanna make sure that there's a, a, a limited number of values in the variable that you place to the right. If it's, if it's too, if it's continuous, you'll get an error message. If it's too many values, you get an error message. So for cylinder, we just type in CYL. Now we have to type in the name of the data set and our data set is empty cars. And we have to tell them, well, what do we want? Uh, and so in this situation, remember, we wanted to know the average or the mean of horsepower based on the number of cylinders. So we're gonna put in our function that we want, which is mean like so. And when we're done, we press enter and we get this nice, beautiful chart. So for a four cylinder car, the average horsepower was 82.63. For a six cylinder, you can see it goes up to 122. And for eight cylinder, you can see it goes up to 209. So in this particular situation, I had the one continuous variable, which is basically my dependent variable. And then I had the one categorical variable, which is cylinders. However, you can make it more complicated. You can have more than one categorical variable, which in other words means that I wanna know what is the average based on this and this. Now, let's do an example together. I'm not gonna to type all the code over again. It's already displayed. 
and you can review code that you've typed in the path by pressing the up arrow. Now, let's say I want to say, okay, R, tell me the average horsepower based on cylinders and the number of carbs or the number of carburetors in the in the car, as an example. And so I type this in. And so what I do is, is I, I leave my cylinder variable here, and then I press the plus sign, which is me add, and then I put in my second variable carb. And so now we have two criteria that determines the average of the horsepower. So for a four-cylinder car that only has one carburetor, the average horsepower was 77. For a six-cylinder car with one carburetor, it was 107. So you can see how things um, are changing here. Uh, now, you probably can't go beyond two categorical variables, but you also have to keep in mind you know, your sample size and how, many, um, how big is your sample, I mean. So for example, I might want to add gears. Now, this is where things might get kind of edgy. Oh, we still have a value here. So for a four-cylinder car with one carburetor and three gears, the average horsepower was 97. So you can go on and on and add with this, and you cannot only use this for mean. For example, you could calculate the standard deviation if you so desire. So instead of mean, you could put in standard deviation, like so. But see, you start to get some error messages. Like for example, for an eight-cylinder car with four carburetors and five gears, the value was NA. That's probably because there was not enough cars that met that criteria for the computer or R to calculate the standard deviation. So that's kind of a limitation on it. And I also, if you remember earlier, I told you to be careful with using um, continuous variables on both sides because if there's too many values, you'll get an error message. For example, let's say if I want to find out what is the average horsepower by weight. And you can see here I get a lot of NAs, uh, a lot of problems here because there's not enough data for each criteria. That's why I'm having that problem. Another one that would be really bad is if I did MPG. Again, not very good. So you have to be careful to make sure you don't have too many values um, to the right-hand side of your tilde sign. Otherwise, you'll get a lot of blanks like this. So in this particular video, we looked at how to use the aggregate function to calculate values based on the specific criteria of several or maybe only one categorical variable. To have success in this, you must keep in mind what it is you want to know, of course, obviously. To the left of the tilde sign is the dependent variable, which is continuous. To the right should be a categorical variable, or it could be a continuous variable that has a, you know, a limited number of values. After that, you have to tell it what data frame to use or what data set to use. So for us, we use the empty cars. And then lastly, you must put the function at the end, which is whatever calculation you want the aggregate function to perform based on the criteria inside the formula. So we hope that this video, video was useful for you. And we thank you for listening. Take care.